Hello, hello, and welcome to another Genshin Impact video. My name's Blossoms, and today we're going to be taking a look at and going over the different talents and constellations of Jean, the Grandmaster of Mondstadt herself, and she is an Anemo sword user. And you will notice this is a trial character, you know, one day I will get my very own five star, I'm counting on it, it'll, it'll happen eventually. But until then, we're going to keep doing some scuffed talent showcases like this, as the intent of these videos is to just give you an idea of how the character works and how you might want to build them going forward. But with that said, let's go ahead and pop into the talent. First and foremost is her normal attack, Favonius Blade Work. It's just your typical normal attack, charge attack, and plunging attack with these particular skill attributes for those of you interested. Nothing too crazy here. She does have a different normal attack from your typical sword user in the sense that it just rockets up, but this is her normal attack pattern. And then her charge attack, as I said, looks like that. Seems to shoot up, spread some dandelions, you know, fitting for the dandelion knight here. And I'm not sure if I can get on top of something here. Oh, we sure can. Plunging attack, there we go. Your typical plunging attack, nothing too crazy. Yeah, so I didn't notice this part of her charge attack, but it launches them in the air and they slowly fall to the ground. I don't know how useful that is, but uh, I mean, it, it's a thing that you should just know about. That's very weird though. <laughs> For Jean's second talent here, we have Gale Blade. Focusing the might of the formless wind around her blade, Jean releases a miniature storm, launching enemies in the direction she aims at, dealing massive anemo damage. And on hold, at the cost of continued stamina consumption, Jean can command the whirlwind to pull surrounding enemies towards her front. Direction can be adjusted, character is immobile during the skill duration, and here are the skill attributes and the max duration here of 5 seconds. Now what this is saying is that you can press it and you'll just do a nice little anemo damage, it'll knock people back, however if you do hold it like this, you can 1 adjust the direction and 2 this is going to pull in people around you and then launch them forward. One other thing to note here is if you get Klee uh, later on, you know when she comes out, you'll be able to pull in her mines apparently with this and then shoot them forward with uh, the opponents which I think is really awesome but uh, we'll see whenever Cleese comes out if that's still a thing I have heard it is a thing though. For Jean's elemental burst we have Dandelion Breeze. Calling upon the wind's protection Jean creates a swirling dandelion field launching surrounding enemies and causing anemo damage. At the same time she instantly regenerates a large amount of HP for all party members HP restored scales off Jean's attack, and then for the dandelion field effect, it continuously regenerates HP for one ally and continuously imbues them with a Nemo, and then it also deals a Nemo damage to enemies entering or exiting the field. So this is actually a pretty busted elemental burst in my opinion. Uh, it one regenerates your entire party and then two continuously regenerates for whoever is within it at the current point in time as well as imbue them with anemo damage and hurt anybody who's entering or exiting. But I'll stop talking, let's go ahead and show this off. Pretty cool elemental burst in quite the large radius here so you'll be able to fight pretty much everybody with anemo damage constantly proccing that swirl and then you know having people exiting and entering is going to be dealing damage and I imagine you can knock them out with her E also dealing additional damage. For Jean's fourth talent here we have Wind Companion. Hits by normal attacks have a 50% chance to regenerate HP equal to 15% of Jean's attack for all party members. So if you haven't noticed yet, Jean is a very good healer that scales off of attack so you can constantly use her for damage as well as just healing the party. Um, she's very much built for having her out as perhaps your normal attack unit in the sense that this particular talent is going to be regenerating HP for all of your teammates all the time based off of her attack. But moving on towards her fifth talent here, we have Let the Wind Lead. Using Dandelion Breeze will regenerate 20% of its energy, 
that's kind of an insane talent. It literally just gives you 20% back of her elemental burst after using it, meaning you're just going to have her elemental burst a lot more often, meaning you will have that consistent healing as well as damage. And then for her final and passive talent is Guiding Breeze. When a perfect cooking is achieved on a dish with restorative effects, there is a 12% chance to obtain double the product. Moving on towards Jean's constellations here, we have her first one being Spiraling Tempest, increases the pulling speed of Gale Blade after holding for more than one second, and increases damage dealt by 40%. That's actually pretty darn good. It allows you to, you know, increase your radius, or the pulling speed actually, not radius, of the Gale Blade after holding it, which is definitely going to help you out. You're not going to consume as much stamina when you're trying to pull people in, and it just increases the damage by 40%, which is a lot, meaning she's going to be dealing huge damage since you're going to be scaling her off of attack. For her second constellation here, we have People's Ages. When Jean picks up an elemental orb slash particle, all party members have their movement speed and attack speed increased by 15% for 15 seconds. So when she's just getting elemental orbs or particles, which is happening all the time, everybody gets their movement speed and attack speed increased by 15%. And when you think about that, an attack speed increase is basically a raw damage increase and I can imagine if you have Jean in your party at her second constellation with somebody like Razor and you cast Razor's ult that already increases his attack speed, he's going to be attacking extremely fast. But anyway, moving on to the third constellation here, we have When the West Wind Rises, one of your typical constellations that increases one of her abilities by three, this one being her Dandelion Breeze. Seen it before, moving on towards the fourth constellation, that being Lands of Dandelion. Within the field created by Dandelion Breeze, all enemies have their Nemo resistance decreased by 40%, which is actually really crazy. 40% is huge. She has huge percentages here, and the fact that Dandelion Breeze also imbues whoever is within it with a Nemo means you're just going to be doing that much more damage and something very important to note you know gene is a five star so getting these constellations is going to be very difficult but they are extremely good so if you do manage to get to this point yet i don't know why you wouldn't have gene on your team she just seems to be the perfect support dps for you know also being a nemo causing that swirl it's she's so good moving on to that fifth constellation though we have outbursting gust Increases the level of Gale Blade by 3, maximum upgrade level is 15. You know, we've seen this before, nothing crazy. For the 6th constellation, we have Lion's Fang, Fair Protector of Mondstadt. Incoming damage is decreased by 35% within the field created by Dandelion Breeze. Upon leaving the Dandelion Field, this effect lasts for 3 attacks or 10 seconds. So this is just a nice little cherry on top, I don't think this is anything crazy. I don't think if you are for some reason dropping insane money on building out Jean that you need to get her 6th constellation, you'll probably be fine at stopping at 2 or 4, you know, for whoever is actually spending that. Before getting into the build suggestions, which I will say is brief as I don't actually have this character, and I am simply in the trial period so I can't try different things out, but I will give my recommendations for stats and perhaps artifact sets. But before we do that, as I said, you know, here's the lore for those of you interested. As always, you can pause and read, but there you go. Moving on to the artifact sets here. Being a trial character, I cannot change anything on her, so we will be moving to another character to show different sets. However, for stats to focus on, obviously you're going to want to be focusing mainly on attack, as her healing does is based off of her attacks and normal attacks. So you're also going to want to be focusing on her physical damage and or crit and crit rate. So that way you're just going to be doing as much damage as possible and healing your entire party in the process. But for artifact builds with Jean, it doesn't get much simpler than this. Honestly, you could just put a full set of Gladiator's Destiny if you are that lucky and get that increased attack percent and go ahead and 
just be able to deal that much more damage on her normal attack while getting that attack percentage making her healing better and you just won't have to really worry about that however if you can't get a good set you can easily do something like prospect of the brave the two piece here and then do something like the martial artist set which has another good two piece bonus of increasing her normal and charge attack damage by 15 percent however say you just want to go full support gene and you don't really want to build out her dps you could easily do maiden's heart stricken infatuation here with the healing effectiveness of 15 percent and then just focus on attack percentage for the other you know stats on that set i know the build portion there was pretty brief but as i said we don't have the character so i can't you know test anything out however just playing her in this dungeon a little bit has been really fun and i can say she's Pretty much an s tier character she does a lot of damage and does a lot of healing and you know just buffs your entire party constantly in terms of that movement speed and attack speed pretty nuts if you have that constellation however i think even if you don't have the constellations she's a really strong character to have can deal a lot of damage and just be a very good support for the team but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe for more. All as always, we'll be doing more of these. And uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about Jean. Any other builds you might want to see in the future. As I did say previously, I am working on builds and I'm getting very, very close. Mostly grinding out Mora and some levels at this point. And when I get those done, they will be getting posted. But thanks so much, everybody. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace.